Hello, welcome to another video. If you've seen some of my other videos about slow laptops, this is the AMD A41200 laptop again. Um, but this time I've put Antix, Anti-X Linux on here and it actually feels like a different laptop. It feels like a computer that actually works. Um, I've got a speed test up here so you can see my sort of Wi-Fi speeds aren't the greatest but they're sort of good enough and you'll notice I've got multiple tabs open I've got uh, YouTube over here and it runs fine um, I'll show you how it performs and I'll show you typing a search in here so you can sort of see how it responds straight away it comes up with the suggestions on screen And you can see over here, we've got the uh, information um, about the processor use and everything else there. When it boots up, it uses a really small amount of memory, about 230 megabytes. So I'll just go through to this. And obviously the laptop still is a slow laptop. It's got a really slow processor, but um, we're not getting the same problems we have when we were um, using the PC with Windows where without any adjustments it would struggle to play these kind of adverts. On here, I mean, it's not a good thing that it's playing adverts, but on here it is just playing um, without struggling so much. Um, there is some lag. Um, and there is, are some dropped frames, but it's much better experience than I was having with Windows on its own in the default settings. And um, yeah. So another neat thing is you can actually um, leave that running and do other things. You know, it, it seems to cope with multiple tabs. It copes with something happening over here and then over here I can be on a different website and it just kind of keeps going. This um, is quite a slow video so it may look like it's paused but it's not really. And the general sort of responsiveness of the system, it just keeps kind of working. Um, there is a bit of slowdown, but it's still responding. It's not freezing and I'm asking it to do much more than I would have done with Windows. With Windows, I was sort of doing one thing at a time and then painfully waiting for things to happen. And that was even on sort of, um, uh, text websites or just normal websites rather than video playback. And... It was relatively straightforward to install as a second on a second partition on this drive. It's got an SSD, but um, it could have been nice if it made it a little bit easier for me um, in terms of automatically setting up the partition for me. I did have to kind of do a few bits manually and work out how to set that up myself. But there's, you know, built in help and information on the internet there's a really good user guide for this but you can see i'm sort of over here scrolling reading some of these articles while this continues to play on this side so i'll just pause that oh actually this is using the vp09 um codec so I haven't actually switched on H.264 if I so it's kind of quite impressive that it was playing back that and that was fine even though um, I suppose there are a lot of drop frames but we can get even better performance um, by adding H.264 if I in fact that just goes to show how impressive or how responsive the system is that it can manage to play back um, YouTube without these add-ons um, and you can see over here 
I don't have anything blocking adverts and it's still coping with um, this kind of website that is full of adverts and media. And this was a real struggle on um, Windows and the other sort of um, Linux. I tried, I tried Puppy Linux. And this just seems, Antix or Antix just seems like really, really optimized. And I'm just really impressed that it actually works so well on this laptop. Okay, this is now playing back with H264 if I. And let's, let's just close some of these other tabs and sort of see how much um, processor uh, usage there is. With just the one video playing. I think I'm having some uh, slow Wi Fi issue happening now. It's looking a little bit better. Okay, so we're not hitting full. Well, it's dipping a bit the um, CPU usage, kind of going back up to 100%. It's dropping quite a lot of frames. <laughs> so basically this video was supposed to be, you know, um, about how this Linux version has totally transformed this laptop and made it super fast. It hasn't made it super fast, but it has made it feel usable. Um, so yeah just feels like it's a laptop I could actually use for little bits and pieces of things, you know, just general web use and YouTube playback without, I guess, giving up um, entirely. So let's uh, mute this. So I'll just um, leave this playing over on this side and um, get another um, tab or browser see if I've still got a couple of tabs open here um, is this playing back or is it um, what is it doing Let me check my Wi-Fi is working. Oh, it is getting uh, quite good speed down, I suppose. Should be playing. Don't know why that stopped working. So this is a WebGL Aquarium over here. And if this video plays, we'll, we'll see what happens.
it's kind of working. This is still um, updating at a rapid speed. You know, the, it's just loading the rest of this page. Okay, so video playback is now working okay. WebGL Aquarium's over here, doing its thing. And apart from the occasional slowdown when things kind of go a bit slow, <laughs> um, this kind of does feel like a system that I could use. It's certainly much better than I was getting with um, Windows, even with sort of all the different kind of add-ons. And it is a case of the internet just being that kind of slow blow to the experience. And I expect I could get a little bit of a better experience from this by adding the ad blockers as in addition, and maybe trying a different, more lightweight web browser as well. Um, I can also use um, Real VNC Viewer to connect into my um, Windows machine. So here I've got this little Windows server that I set up. There's a video about how I built this PC. Um, and so here I can go into I don't know, Windows 10, Windows 11, and all the different versions of Windows that I want to use. And here we have Windows 10 on this um, virtual machine that I've set up. So yeah, it's quite kind of um, responsive enough. This is over the network uh, wired connection that I'm connecting to this. Um, and then on here, I've got back to the Linux desktop. And yeah, Antix seems like quite a nice little operating system. You have a lot of choices regarding how it looks. Uh, there's lots of different themes built in, all sort of um, different size options available um, so that it can be set up for the screen real estate that you have. Um, and it comes with quite a lot of useful things built in. Um, as well as DOSBox. Um, so that would be quite neat to give a, that a try because I think this laptop is slow and maybe DOSBox type things are going to be the right level of um, software for it. But yeah, um, what's your favourite Linux distribution to use for older, older hardware, older laptops, older PCs? Um, I don't think this laptop can be upgraded anymore. Um, the process is most likely soldered onto the board. I'm not sure about the memory, whether there's any chance of upgrading that. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just tiny, tiny bit faster. And this laptop would be quite, would be just about okay. But I think this uh, Linux version Antix or Anti-X um, really impressed me basically. Um, I've tried, you know, Puppy Linux on, on this laptop and it was okay. Um, but still didn't seem to cope with YouTube very well. Um, didn't seem to cope with websites very well. Whereas this kind of just, yeah, just seemed to work. Um, and it's using just under two gigabytes of RAM at the moment. Um, so yeah, really quite impressed and definitely worth a try if you're looking for a really lightweight Linux. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, thanks to channel members, Revivify, um, and you can become a member if you want to. Although my aim is to keep the majority of my videos um, completely free and yeah. Thanks for all your comments and see you in another video. Uh, bye.
Here is Quake 3 running. Hopefully you should be able to see the frames per second in the corner. As you can see it's playing quite nicely.